Amashle is 32 years old and earns an annual taxable income of 425,648. She is married and pays medical aid for her husband and herself. So in this particular question, the annual taxable income of 425,648 is already worked out for us. So the question states, name the tax bracket Amashle's annual taxable income falls into. So basically the annual taxable income is already worked out for us. So our next step would have been to choose our tax bracket. So the examiner is leading us. So the tax bracket in which it falls is the third tax bracket. If you look at the 425,000 would fall within this area here. Right, so it would be in this range here. So this therefore becomes our tax bracket that we choose. So in this particular instance, the 3.1.1, the answer will be tax bracket. Three point one point two. Write down the rebate for the year and the monthly medical aid credit that a marshal qualifies for. Okay, so the first thing there are two parts to this question. So they want the tax rebate. Now remember the tax rebate is a discount given to us, and this we use looking at the age. Of the person so if you look at the beginning of the question the information provided above we notice that there was a given portion where a marshal is 32 years old so using this information we go down to our table provided which is the tax rebate table and when we go to that part there we see for the age groups and we notice that a marshal falls only in the primary because she is under the age of 65 so the answer would be 14,958. Thereafter, we look at the monthly medical credits. The keyword there is the monthly. Right now, remember, we have to go to the portion where it says the medical aid credits, there's it there. But remember, we need to look at the added information where she says she is married and basically her husband and herself under the medical aid so that's two people so if you look at the information provided to us we notice that the second line of the medical aid credit box or table you'll see it says for the taxpayer and one dependent and that would be an amount of 638 so the medical aid credit now remember 638 now remember the keyword there is monthly. Now, if you look at the tax table in the column where it's medically credits, it's always for the month. So that amount would, would not change and it would be 638. 3.1.3 ends calculate a marshal's monthly income tax payable. Our keyword there is the monthly, meaning that we must divide by 12. So let's write down our tax bracket in which we've chosen in 3.1.1. That would be tax bracket 3. So it would be 667,144, right, plus 31%. Now remember, there is a portion where it says anything above 321,600. So what we will do is we will multiply the difference. So that's the area that's above, that's the amount above. So this would be 425, which we were using to choose our tax bracket. That's our annual taxable income, right? Minus 321,600. Now this, have, this amount, remember I've got from the statement that I've just taken from tax bracket three. So doing these calculations, we'll get 99,000. 398,88. All right, so that's the first step. Now, remember, with this, we need to subtract our rebates. So I'm just going to write down this here so we know what we are exactly doing. So 99,398. Now, let's subtract our rebates. 
So subtracting our rebates, we know that the rebate will be the 14,000, which we've already worked out in the previous question, 958. This would give us 84,440,88. So our next step that we would do is to subtract our medical aid credits. Now, so our examiner has helped us out here in this question because we've worked it out in the previous questions. So keep in mind now that we need to multiply our answer in 3.1.2 by 12. So this would be 638 times 12. Keyword there was because it was monthly and now we're doing the annual tax payable. So remember annual means a year. So we have to multiply by 12. So this would be 84,440,88 minus and that amount would be 7,656. So this would bring us to 76,784,88. Now the next thing we need to do is to divide by 12 because we were asked to work out the monthly taxable payable. So this would be final answer 6,398,74.